years old and I'm from class Discover 4 PCEC school. Today I'm going to talk about the time capsule. First I need, but now I'm going to talk about the body structure, the structure of my presentation. The first part is the introduction. The second part is, is about the time capsule. The third part is the items I put in the time capsule. And the final part is the conclusion. Now let's start. What is a time capsule? Well, the time capsule is a container that is stuffed with objects considered to be in the past and waiting to be opened in some time, in some time in the future. We usually put objects that were meaning, meaning to have a lot of meaning to us in the past, but not anymore. We sometimes we a time capsule usually is burned in the ground. But sometimes it's kept in a place that nobody knows about. We create these time capsules so that the people in the future can study about us. Now to the materials. I use the cardboard box because it's the cheapest but the, and very durable than most materials. Now for the items. My first item is my hand drawn bowl cap. This map has not been to know all the countries in the world and can teach me about places that I didn't know about. I put this in the box because some maps change at some time in some place. My next item is an action figure. It was meaningful to me in the past, but not anymore. I put this in the box. I put this this action figure in the box because I have I have bought another one and glows in the dark so it's and it's not very interesting to be honest. The third third object is my plastic pencil. The plastic pencil. This pencil has me, has helped me to write and draw for the past year, but I think but I saw it was broken so I just use it for my staple shoe. The fourth item is my 16 dice sack. These dice sacks were used to play Dungeons and Dragons with my friend for like two years, but now I quit playing it and just put it in the box. The final item is some glow sticks. These glow sticks were cool for like two minutes until it's, until the light the glow fades away and it's useless and, and not cool anymore. So I put it in the box. Now I'm going to talk when, where do I keep and when do I keep it. I'm going to keep this box behind the uh, back. I see, I'll keep this behind the stairs at an apartment and it. And I'm going to keep it for two years and opening it from 2026. 20, that is the end of my presentation. See you next time.